What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing everything you need to know about VTO. Now, before we get started, I realized it's pretty early in February and I still haven't set my goal for this year. Last year, you guys know my goal was 800 subscribers by the end of the year. This year, I still haven't set my goal even though I literally have it written down on that little whiteboard right there. My goal though is 15,000 subscribers this year. On this channel, I wanna hit 15,000 subscribers. So before we get started with this video, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. But with that being said, let's get straight into everything you need to know about VTO. So a lot of comments lately have been asking about VTO. They've been asking, you know, what is VTO? Should I take VTO? All sorts of questions about VTO. A lot of new employees coming through at Amazon lately, especially with the mass hire we had in January and even going into February. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be answering a bunch of frequently asked questions I get about VTO so that anyone who needs this video will have it and they'll be able to know what VTO is and if they should take it and all that good stuff. So let's get started with the first frequently asked question that I get, is VTO paid? So VTO stands for voluntary time off and it is not paid. It is just a time that you get off voluntarily. Um, you don't have to use any time off for it. It is just given to you and it's not paid at all. So if you take 10 hours of VTO for your shift, you will not be getting paid for a single one of those hours and you cannot use PTO afterwards or anything like that. It is just VTO. A second frequently asked question that I get, I actually get this one a lot surprisingly, and that is, will this put me in bad standings? Will this get me fired? Will they choose to not make me a permanent employee if I take so much VTO? Or if I just continue to take VTO, will it get me fired pretty much? Will it ruin my good standings? And the answer to that is also no. Amazon doesn't just offer VTO to see, oh, if these employees keep taking VTO, we're gonna fire them. They don't do that. They offer you VTO because they genuinely need you to take VTO. If they're offering VTO, they need employees to take VTO or they're going to lose out on money that day. So if you get offered VTO, don't worry. If you're like a white badge and you're wondering if I take so much VTO, are they not going to ever give me blue badge? Don't worry about that. That's not going to happen. The fact of the matter is, is that if they're offering VTO, they need you to take it. So, I mean, you don't have to take it if you don't want to, of course. It is completely voluntary, but they do want you to take it. And no, taking it won't put you in better standards either. So don't think it will if you take more of it. So another question that I get asked a lot is why on earth? earth would I take VTO when I could just use PTO because it's paid? Why not just use my paid time off? And the reason for that is that you could take an unlimited amount of VTO for the entire year. If you worked at Amazon starting January 1st and every single day from January 1st to December 31st, they offered VTO, you took it, you would be fine. There would be no issues there. there. There's no limit to how much VTO you can take. However, with PTO, you accrue it up until about the middle of the year. Most states, I think like a large majority of Amazon facilities and states only have a limit of 48 hours per year. So you are limited to how much PTO you could take. So that's why you should spare your PTO, save it as much as you can. Don't just use it willy nilly. Try to save your PTO as much as you can throughout the year because you have a limited amount of it. But with VTO, you can take as much as you want. So that's why you should definitely take VTO over PTO. Unfortunately, of course, PTO is paid, VTO is not paid. So if you're looking to get paid, yeah, take the PTO. However, just remember that PTO, you have a cap of 40 hours per year. Some states as well, like I think Oregon and California have like 96 hours. So if you're in those states, you're in a little bit better position. But for my state, Texas, and for most other states and most other facilities, your limit is 40 hours. So you wanna spare your PTO, save it as much as you can take the VTO if it comes up, if you can afford to. Another frequently asked question I wanted to answer just in case anybody had it is, how do you get VTO? VTO is only offered either through the A2Z app or directly from managers. There is no other way to get VTO. You can't put yourself in the system to get VTO. There's no way to go earn VTO or anything like that. VTO is only given to you, again, through the app on A to Z, on the little notifications tab or the voluntary time off tab, or it'll be on there directly through your manager. Your manager might come up to you or they might send a message on your screen if you're at work saying VTO today, anything like that. So it is only offered by managers or A to Z. There's absolutely no other way to get VTO. It's not something that you could just earn or accrue. And the last frequently asked question I wanted to answer about VTO is should I take VTO? Now my answer to this will always be yes under one circumstance. Can you afford it? If you can afford to take VTO and you wanna get off that day, you just wanna go relax and you don't wanna be at work or maybe you need a mental rest from Amazon and you need to have a little bit of a break, my answer will 100% of the time always be yes if you can afford it. In my opinion, if you can afford to take VTO, it's not gonna ruin you anything, it's not gonna stop you from paying rent, it's not gonna stop you from getting groceries and you're, you're okay, you're, you're chill, you're fine, 
take the VTO, just do it. In my opinion, you should always take the VTO if you can afford it. And of course, if you want to, don't take it if you don't want to, but if you can and you want to, just go ahead and take it. My opinion on this is just always take the VTO when you get the opportunity. It's there, it's rare, take the VTO, yes. But if you cannot afford the VTO, if it's gonna put you behind on rent, or anything like that, do not take it under any circumstances, no matter how much you want to take the VTO. No matter how much you want to take the VTO, if you can't afford to do it, do not do it. That's the answer to that question, should you take VTO? If you're thinking about taking VTO right now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, yeah, go ahead and go to back to the app. Go back to A to Z and just take it. You might as well, if you can afford to, of course, just go take it, please. Do me a favor and just take the VTO. Amazon wants you to, you know you probably want to, I want you to, just take the VTO. But with that being said, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe down below. Just kind of wanted to answer some questions about VTO because I'm getting a lot more recently. And there's been so much VTO recently with the amount of new hires we've been getting. Of course, VTO comes whenever either there's too many employees at the facility or if it's just slow in general and right now with Amazon kind of like both of those are happening so yeah with that being said I'm gonna end that there thank you guys so much for watching again 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year let's try to get that right now we're like at 2.6k let's try to get to 15k it's gonna be a long journey but I'm gonna be creating content throughout this entire year if you haven't already subscribe down below follow me on Instagram and Twitter go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel Nathan Padilla where I'll be coming up with another video coming soon and I'll catch you guys on the next one I love you all peace